Cool. My name is Cat Holiday. Yeah, I'm uh, Bajani Pedro Cornelson Skazank. Johnny and I first played music together in like junior high. Our first name was Rat House because the house we're sitting in right now used to be dilapidated, uninhabitable. And there was like nothing here but like floorboards and the frame of a house. Gianni and I were just starting to play music together and figure out what is going on. And we didn't want to like bother anyone. So we came back here and we called it the rat house. And so we would practice like right over there. Back then we were, we were playing punk rock and have since gone through several incarnations. For a while, Kat was playing guitar and percussion for my other project, Hope Fiend. I had played some shows with him and he had played some shows with me, as the trouble is, and then it turned into like, I mean, those are both of like our solo things and we should make them a collective whole. He asked me if I wanted to start a new project with him and uh, I, of course, agreed to do so. There's a really natural progression, I think, from like what Johnny brings to the table and the way I write and then the way they coalesce that is pretty unique. With uh, Children of the Rat Temple and my, my other project, it's, it's, you know, more experimental, psychedelic. I like to, I like to call it, um, Heroin dub. Neither of us do heroin, but... Johnny called it heroin dub. I think partially because when he and I first started playing together again, I was in a really weird spot. And the first songs I brought to our table, very deliberately slow and thoughtful and contemplative. He usually comes up with the, uh, you know, chord progressions and the lyrics and the um, structure of the song, and then and then I'll, I'll add, um, you know, percussion, bass, synth, and horns, and that's usually how it goes. And, and a lot of the times we we just kind of um, jam, make noise, with no real, no real goal, just just to, you know, hang out and make weird sounds. I don't think about what I can do to make this band better. I just bring myself to it naturally. And I think Johnny does the same. And it is what it is. I feel like this EP, for me personally, is about getting to the point of stripping judgment away and loving yourself and everybody else and not being bothered by stimuli, whether they be external or internal. It's meaningful because it's it's something that I helped to create with uh, with someone that I love dearly. It touches on some some pretty pretty important sensitive topics and and to be able to uh, put that to, to music and, and to be part of part of something unique and meaningful is a is a beautiful thing to me. The EP is also important to me because it feels like a culmination of 
a lot struggle and just life in general. It kind of feels like here is where Johnny and I are right at this moment. And from here, who knows? And before that, there's a whole lot of who knows. The future feels good. That's all I know. The future feels good. I don't know where it's going, but it feels good.